Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the second season of the Mr. and Mrs. Show. I'm so excited about this new season because we've got more exciting stories about marriage. We've got some wonderful couples that we're going to meet and hear their stories. And we have the love box, which is full of surprises for our couples. So I'm your host, Kokui Selome Hansen, and I'll be with you for this second season of the Mr. and Mrs. Show. Let's meet our couple, shall we? He's a DJ and she's an IT specialist. Welcome Mr. and Mrs. Senyo to the show. Hi. Hello. <laughs> look, you guys look like lush teenagers, you know. It's a pleasure to have you on the Mr. and Mrs. show as our first couple for the second season. Yep. Yeah. We are, we are blessed. I, I can see that you're ready to go. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to do this. Yeah. Okay. So I've already mentioned how in love you look. Yeah. How long have you been married? I think seven years now. Okay. Yeah, seven well, years. That, yeah. That, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, seven, seven years. is not bad. Yeah. It's a yeah. good number. Yeah. Okay, so how did you meet Mrs. Senyo? How did this DJ sweep you off your feet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think um, uh, we were connected by a friend of mine and a friend of his. I think, oh. yeah, his friend's girlfriend was, okay. was my friend. I see. You see? Uh -huh. So I think they went, they went out or something. And then my friend um, wanted to, she knew I didn't have anyone in my life at that time. Okay, you were I, single? Yeah, I was uh, single. Back in the day, we'll say you were nashing. <laughs> you know? I was single, and then um, Bernard was single as well. She knew. Okay. So, yeah, she decided to find out from Bernard whether mm -hmm. she's interested in dating anybody. Yeah, so he said he would like to try. And then she gave my number to him to call me. So he called, and then we picked it up from there. I've, I've, I've got to ask, what did he say when he called? <laughs> what were his lines? What raps did I he knew, <laughs> I knew he would be calling. So, <laughs> so you were prepared? Yeah, yeah. So I was prepared. But when the call came, I pretended as if I didn't know anything about mm. what was going on. So okay. he, he asked whether um, that's my friend. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he narrated the whole story again, which I already knew. And then he wasn't in Accra by then. I think they were on an, an assignment or so. Yeah, as, okay. yeah, be dumb. Okay. Yeah, so then he said when he comes to Accra, then we will pick it up from there. Okay, so by the time you had this phone call, you hadn't met in person? No, no. no so, at all. Okay, let's go to you, Mr. Senyo. <laughs> so you finally meet her. What was your first impression? Ah, uh, goodness. <laughs> to be honest, uh, back in the days, I was living in Dansuma. And she was by then a student at uh, Kolebu teaching okay. uh, training college. So um, when we, I called her one hot Saturday afternoon, when I called her to, uh, to see if we can meet on that day. So on a, <laughs> honestly speaking, when I was moving from the house, coming to meet her at the junction, so many things was passing through my mind. Mm, like what? <laughs> In case I meet this lady who has a very sweet voice and she happens to be a, a, a or somebody mm -mm. on a serious note. Okay. So would I still have yeah, would you still the, those, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the vim to go on? Mm -hmm. So on a, on a serious note, I, when I was coming and I saw her far, very slim, tall, walking gorgeously, like someone who is going to contest for Miss <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> and uh, within that time, that's when my heart began to settle down. Aww. So when I got closer to her and I, you know, women and their things, pretend as if she's not going to go and say, oh, are you right? And she said, oh, yeah, I'm right. And okay. when I go home, for me, as a, when I was living alone, I like cooking a lot. Oh, so, that's oh, yeah, good. I had gone to, I think, a nation market to go and buy some food stuff and things. Wow. Yeah, it was the cooking that made me stay. <laughs> oh, <time>. really? <laughs> I hope, I hope all the men are watching are taking notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One way to get the girl is to yeah, impress her with yeah. your cooking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is good. And she mm, loved yeah. this kind of local food, mm -hmm. like ampesin with the grand... Uh, yeah, the kontombri. Yeah. Kontombri or nadwa, like guiding eggs, kind of thing with momone, kobe. And you whipped all of this oh, up. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. and I did it. <laughs> he did. Because it was <laughs> the first day I'm meeting... Hey. So you wanted to so put I want on to your best her. behavior, yes. For her to know that I also, I'm also somebody. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, so, obviously it worked. Yes, yes. Yeah. So when she came, she, she, I think she, she was very comfortable at where I was living by then. Okay. And some drinks, water and things. And I started to ask her what she'll be taking. She was not too sure. Hmm. And I brought the food. 
that the goodness she really really enjoyed the food <laughs> and i think yeah that's when the, we started connecting started to connecting. each other and i can tell from the smile on her face she agrees with pretty much everything you've said yeah. so after all of this preliminary courting and first impressions what made you decide no i want to date this man i think we should take this further mrs Senior. you know um the thing is that um he's um an open person she would just he would just tell you as it is yeah, he didn't care whether you have not started dating or whatever. Yeah, if you do something and he doesn't like or he sees what you are doing, it's not something that is right. He will just tell you whether you get hurt or whatever. He will tell you that he will not hide anything from you. So I said, well, um, it's better for you to be with someone that will tell you whenever you yeah. go wrong or something than to keep it to himself or hide it just because he wants you to be around him or something like that. Okay. So yeah, I realized um, we can complement each other. Right. Yeah, I wasn't the talking type, okay, but yeah. But he's brought it out of you now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did this all become official? Did he say, look, I want you to be my, my girlfriend or, or did you just decide mutually one day that look, I think we get along really well, so let's do this. How did, how did it go down? I think we did it for almost two and a half to three and a half years. Wow. Yeah, we were dating. And within that period, it wasn't easy. Like there was this kind of misunderstanding to do that and that. And I think we, we had a long misunderstanding for a very long time. What was that about? Yeah. Hi. Hey. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we, we, we broke up and made up, we broke up and made up, you know, because I was coming from, he's coming from, let's say, a military kind of home okay yes mm -hmm. with this strict very strict, regimented yes yes right. and i was coming from <laughs> <laughs> you're the free spirit yes yes Woo! and how that i can do whatever i want so you're like to. yin and yang yeah. opposites but they say opposites attract though yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so uh, it, 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 it it was difficult for me in the beginning because he was trying to put you in line and okay i didn't want that so all right all, right. all this thing happened because uh it's because I was coming from different home. Yes. She was also coming from different home. Right. You know, we were very young by then. Very, very, very young. But that's and natural, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we were very young. And we couldn't put certain things in place that they are natural things. That happens most time in relationship. Mm. We thought like, if you are wrong, you are wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. Okay. I think we went out one day. And uh, when we, uh, I think Mr. Biggs, they have Dansuma. one branch at Dansuma. So we went out and we went to have some drinks and other mm. stuff. And... And I just threw the, uh, the ball to her that, don't you think we could be a good couple one day in future? Oh, yeah? And, you know, she didn't go straight to the point and she was just passing through, passing through. <laughs> I couldn't get the answer on that very day. <laughs> but as time goes on, when she, she, she became habitual, like visiting me most time at home, and there was a time I, I, I just trust her. I oh. have to leave my key to her. She can come to my house and it's at any time without calling me and that kind of thing. So mm. the, it, we started connecting to each other from that point in time. Yeah. So I think one day she also decided, you know, why, why not? And uh, we are all young. When we start early, why not? Mm. So uh, I've, I've, within that time, I realized that she was the right person for me to get married to her okay. because I had dated uh, some ladies in the past. In the past. And those ladies, like, because mm -hmm. I'm not connected to them, mm -hmm. when we, like, when we date, it doesn't keep long. Mr. Senor, yeah. what is it about your wife that made her different from the women you dated previously? One unique feature about my wife is that she is uh, that type of lady who is independent. Mm -hmm. she, she doesn't wait uh, to depend, like, mostly on me. She tried to do it by herself. When it gets extremely, then she tried to follow me. So she's so very independent. It, sure. So it was one thing that really motivated me, gave me that kind of more like affection for her mm. because my previous relationship was <laughs> not like that. <laughs> so it was one thing and it has been, it has grown up to where we are today. Yeah. And, and I think it's one unique thing all the time. She, she will testify to it. I always praise her for, for that. that. Yes. That's amazing because, you know, there are a lot of men who are not like you and they would yeah. be intimidated by the fact that their wife is independent and makes her own money and doesn't depend on her husband for financial support. But you are the opposite. You actually found it attractive. Yeah. 
Very, yeah. very attractive. Very, very, very attractive. Hey, I but, like, I like <laughs> very, 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 very attractive. That, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean I don't take my responsibility. Right, yeah. For my responsibility as a man mm -hmm. is very key. Great. But what I mean is that there are some times you can't be there, be there for all, all the, time. the time for the yeah. responsibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have a wife who, when, whenever I give her the red light that today is not good, she's ever ready to, to take over. And like other people, there will mm -hmm. be that kind of complaint and other things. So I think it's something which is part and parcel with her life when I met her from the, from, from the, from the beginning yeah. when we were dating. So I think it has really grown with up to her. where we are today. She's a 21st century woman. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm proud of her. Oh, wow. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're going to talk to you more okay. as the show goes on. But we have to play a little game. I'm sure you're familiar a bit with the Mr. and Mrs. show. We love to give prizes to sure. our couples. But sure. you have to earn those prizes too, okay? Oh, okay? So we'll play a fun little game to see how well you know each, each other. other. Okay? Mm -hmm. How well do you know your partner? Mm -hmm. okay. So one of you is going to leave us, oh, okay. step out, whilst the other asks some questions. Oh, so okay. who's it going to be? Who's going to... give her the honor for her to stay. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay. Ah. So she... <laughs> ah, All right, so she's going to answer some questions about you. We'll see how well she does. And then sure. when you come back, you'll be the judge, okay, okay? okay. to see. Okay. All right, so we'll take a quick break. When we come back, the Mr. and Mrs. show continues. So, Mrs. Senyo, it's me and you now. <laughs> We've asked your husband to excuse us, and we're going to test your knowledge on how well you know him, okay? okay. I just have a few questions for you, okay. Then when he rejoins us, we'll see how well you did. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I am. All right, let's go. Question one, what is the shoe size of your partner? 44. Which fun place does your partner take your kids to on holiday? Uh, that's ANC. Okay, the ANC playground yeah. in East Legon. Yeah. This is an interesting one. Money, friends, hobbies, and you. Put them in order of importance to your partner. Yeah. From me, his hobby. His yeah. His hobby, okay. Yeah, before the friends. Before friends. Yeah. And then the and money, money comes, yeah. Okay. All right, we'll see how much of this information he agrees with. All right. <laughs> what household chore does he dislike the most, or will he never do, or he's never done? He does everything. Yeah? Yeah. Everything. Are you kidding? Okay. Yeah, he well, he, obviously, he already talked about the fact that he loves to cook. Yeah. He loves and to then, clean. Like, he'll yeah, clean. he likes cleaning. Even cleaning before they're cooking. Okay. When it comes to cleaning, maybe there's a particular chore, like scrubbing the bathroom or cleaning the kitchen or ironing the clothes or washing laundry. He does all. Everything. Okay. All right. Let's see if he agrees with that. He loves it all. Yeah. Okay. And what was his first job? Um, a sound engineer, yeah, at Metro TV. I see. Mm. Great. Okay. Are you ready for him to come back yeah, and I see am. how well you did? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's welcome Mr. Senyo back <laughs> to join us and we'll find out how Mrs. Senyo did on how well do you know your, your partner. partner. Mm. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mr. and Mrs. Show. Before the break, we had some fun with Mrs. Senyo. She was telling us all the juicy details about her husband, Mr. Senyo. We're going to find out if she got all of those questions correct. Okay, Ooh. Mr. Senyo is back with us. Oh, you, you sound too excited about this. <laughs> Do you have faith in her ability to know all of what we asked her oh, about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see about that. She looks very confident. I mean, look how she's even sitting in the chair like, <laughs> I've got this, you know, 100%. All right, let's start now. So, okay. we asked Mrs. Senyo, your shoe size. My shoe size. What do you think she said? It should be 44. You should know my shoe size, 44. Very good. Yeah. Very, very good. Well done. Well done, madam. Size 44 indeed. That yeah. is what she said. Okay. Where would you take your kids on holidays? What do you think her answer was? Yeah, in Cinemore. That was like perfect answer. Yeah, <laughs> we do know each yeah. other quite well. <laughs> Very good. In Cinemore Playground. That is what she said. Okay, we asked her, which would you put in order of priority, first to last? Her, your friends, your hobbies, or money? Okay, my wife, money, hobby, and friend. Interesting. So she said, <laughs> yes, first, she's yeah. first. 
She says, your hobby is next. Oh, okay. And then your friends. And money is last. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> money play important role. After getting here, it will be money. <laughs> to be able to exhibit your hobby. Oh. <laughs> Before the friends, they, they come and last minute hour. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because if you have money, you can easily get the friends. Which household chore do you dislike the most or you'd never do? For me, I do all. I do wash a bra and everything. You are super oh, mad. Come on, plan. I, do I mean, well, no, when we asked you this question, <laughs> I said I asked her if you have any brothers because I'm sure that the Ghanaian women watching are going to want to know if yeah. you have any, any yeah. siblings that yeah. they can, you know, who are yeah. just like you. Yeah. I love to do things yeah. on my own because the type of training I had. I was that's, that, that, that's that military things, background, yeah, you know. Things, yeah, it's true. A lot of things. guys who have that, yeah, that upbringing are like things. that, just like things. you. <laughs> and lastly, what was your first job? My first job was a sound technician engineer back in the days with Metro TV. Ah! Yeah! Oh! That's That was awesome. Yeah. Seriously, that was I 2004. Think, I yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was the 2004 yeah. that yeah. you were thinking of <laughs> when you started dating. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic job. Yeah. Oh, I wish you could do the same, the opposite, yeah. but fine. <laughs> you, you've done well. You've done well. Okay, so let, let's delve a bit more into your marriage, guys. Yeah. You know, previously we talked about your courting phase and dating and all of that. Yeah. But obviously you made the step to make it official. You got married. Yeah. What was your wedding like? Our wedding. Yeah. Yes. Hey, our wedding, hmm, 18th December 2010. That one, I'm, you chewed and poured the dates. <laughs> you don't want any trouble with this one. Yeah. You can never forget this yeah. one. One unique thing about our wedding is that <clears throat> most of the planning was done by, by ourselves. The two of us. Yeah. When I was living alone, um, um, my father and my mother they were back in Pokwasi. Okay. That's where they live. And all the planning, I had just gone to introduce my wife to them. That is the lady I would like to marry in future. So when we all decided that we would get married, and back then, her mother or her parents were not back in Ghana. They were back in Germany. So I've been speaking to their mother most often. So she asked me to go for the items, like the list of items okay. from one of uh, his uncle, okay. Dr. Kofi Ablo. All right. One great man in in in, in our life mm. is the chief superintendent officer of in some uh, general hospital. Okay, great. So uh, that's where I went for the list. And when I first day I saw the list, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I had what? what scared you the list? <laughs> Charlie, it's like the anticipation what I was expecting. Yes. You know. So, but it's, it was something we all plan to 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 do. So I, ha I have to call the mother mm -hmm. to. Eat. Let her know that I've gone for the stuff and then okay. Well, madam, she was there. So that was some of the encouragement. That's good. So I shouldn't worry. Everything God is out. So all the planning was done. By, I and my Just wife. The two of you. We knew yeah. what we want. Awesome. So we want how our wedding should be. We want we know the number of people we're inviting. You were inviting. How many people yeah, do you have there? Because, uh, and our wedding we are, we are anticipated for almost four hundred people. But we end up with four hundred and twenty. Yeah. Taking yeah, care of four hundred and twenty. Yeah. Four hundred and twenty. Four hundred and twenty. Four hundred and twenty. Four hundred Taking care of anyway. almost 800 people. That's huge. Very yeah, huge. Lot. One great thing God did to us is that I think the buffet, the food was in two, <laughs> two, uh, two separate yes. Yes. Yeah. and there was enough food. There Even there were a lot of people coming from other places we didn't thank, care. Thank you, Caterer. Ev everybody, a good oh, yeah, everybody got whatever. That's fantastic. Got. Yeah, so, I'm sure you have some awesome memories oh, yeah. from that day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, you know what happens sometimes? People have lavish weddings and great weddings, and they put so much into the wedding. And then marriage comes along. You guys have been married for over six years now. Yeah. You have two beautiful children. Yeah. One might ask, okay, did the fantasy and the beauty of all of the courting and the marriage and the, and the wedding go into the marriage? Have you had your ups and downs or has it been just beautiful and smooth? What, what do you have to share with us about the marriage experience? Let's start with Mrs. on this one. Yeah, okay. it, it's, it's difficult when we started earlier, like the first year. Okay. As I was saying, he does everything. He <laughs> will clean about 100 <laughs> times a day the same place. <laughs> The same place, and I don't feel comfortable when he's doing that. <laughs> I have my programs or things to watch, and he's clean and around he's you. Like he's clean <laughs> around you, and you can't just sit down. You, know. you need to get out. Like, yes. What's what is happening? <laughs> 
what is happening now and then he will talk Bernard likes talking and mm -hmm. I was the quiet type you know I like being on myself and mm -hmm. so I realized no I just have to let it go I just okay. have to yeah okay. um, I, I don't have to think about what I want anymore I don't have to be myself now mm -hmm. you are living with somebody so exactly. yes it's compromise yes it? yes yeah. so you need to yeah you yeah, need to yes. compromise so <laughs> <laughs> that is so now <laughs> so now it's become normal for me. Yeah. I don't really care when he's, when he's going his, around the house. Things. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't bother anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. That's great. For me, what the, the lesson I would like to say about it is that, um, you see, early stage, I was doing those things for her to know who I am. Okay. But maybe I was trying to let her know what I can do. You know, uh, if I'm able to do this, and I'm not there, he should also be in charge to take responsibility as well. So it's not like, you know, I can't not just sit down and see where I'm sitting, there's dead. No, 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 no. <laughs> and all these things started when we were, back in the day, when we were dating, Dan Suma. He would come there and I have to morning so that I'm sweeping. <laughs> you know, I always want to keep my environment very clean. That's, that's, because that's a Because one thing, thing, even up to date, one, one thing I've been telling, you don't know who will come and visit you. Okay. For now, I think now <laughs> she's improving on it. <laughs> And we are still on it. You're still on and it, but you're happy. And, and that's but yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't get angry to the extent if that if my wife don't do yeah. it. No, 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 that's no, no. Great. Okay. no, no. You guys have been simply amazing. I'm, I'm so glad you are here to kick off our <laughs> second season of the Mr. and Mrs. Show. So we want to do something special for you, and we'll tell you what that is right after this break. And we're back. You're watching the Mr. and Mrs. Show. And we've had a fantastic time with Mr. and Mrs. Senyo. If you've missed their interview, then you've missed a lot, okay? <laughs> but we have something special for them now. For being such great sports, we want to give them a gift. So, Mr. and Mrs. Senyo, you're going to get the chance to pick something from our love box, okay? So, Mr. Senyo, since you're closer, okay. why don't you go up there, Okay. open any of the doors on the love box, Love, and love, love, yeah, love, love. pick pick okay. what's inside. Then, <laughs> okay, we've got a red envelope. All right, have a seat. Oh no, it's for okay. you. Okay. You're gonna tell us what's in there. Okay, uh, this red. It's red. Or oh, you open it. Yeah. It's the it's the mm, color. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> he picks and you open. I yeah. love it. Okay. Red stands for love. Yes, it does. It and also represents Valentine's Day at <laughs> the same time. Toaster. Oh toaster. yeah. Toaster. <laughs> you guys have wanted toasters. So you can toast some bread together. Oh. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank I'm you. sure you'll make very good use of that toaster. Yeah. And you'll be the cleanest oh, yeah. toaster in the whole of Ghana. Yeah. Because it's in your house. Yes, right? Yes, yep. Okay, great, great. <laughs> you are very grateful. Like I said, we've had an awesome time with you. But before yes. you go, before you go, we would like to hear what you have to say to people watching you who admire your relationship. What advice do you have for them about making your marriage work? Okay. For me, the little is um, respect. Mm. Yeah, you the woman, you need to respect the husband. And, and then when there's communication, you are able to talk about anything that happens. I think f in the beginning in our relationship, I was a quiet type. Mm. So um, what he decided was that if there's something I want to tell him and I cannot voice it, I should just write. Okay and then put it down for him. Okay. So when he reads, then we talk about the issue. Yeah. So yeah, that f communication is a key also in marriage and then you respect your husband as well. And that would be key for, yeah. Respect is the key thing. Mm. Any woman who respects being your boyfriend, your husband, anybody you are dating, there should be respect. Uh, I would advise the young guys who are also trying to get married that don't, don't be uh, influenced by anybody to get married mm. get married at your own time that's good that's yes. a good one wait up to god let god m make sure god gives you who you think is your partner don't listen to people don't look up to people people are getting married you also want to get married and if god bless you also become a couple make sure that to the woman never never joke with sex in marriage sex should be the key thing mm -hmm. in marriage because of the job i do as a DJ, mm -hmm. I've played a couple of thousands of people's wedding mm -hmm. engagements. 
there are some times you go, you help people get married. The next time you, you see the, the guy or how he's mad down, you tell you that they are no more, more which together, is very, very, very sad. But for me, one thing I know, people always run away from is sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's part. Really? Because the young generation, a lot of them are getting married. So the ladies, be ready. Be there for your husband at any time. And husbands be there for your wives too. Sure. You know, yeah. one thing is that if uh, the wife, you are ever ready for your husband. You know, you see, mm -hmm. sex is very powerful. Me, I see sex as a very... As a, as a very big tool. It is. In marriage. It's a big part of it. That when it is there for the man, please, spiritually, the man will always be there for you. You know what? We'll, do, <laughs> we'll probably have to invite them for a special show <laughs> on sex and marriage. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Senor, thank you so much for kicking off season two of the Mr. and Mrs. Sure. Show for us. Thanks for having us. Such a pleasure sure. having you. And enjoy yeah. the toaster. Okay. 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 <laughs> I've had a blast today on the Mr. and Mrs. Show with Mr. and Mrs. Senior. It's been an absolute pleasure hosting them. For those of you watching, if you want to come on the show, okay, if you're a couple out there, or maybe you know a fantastic couple, you want to recommend them as guests on our show, then all you have to do is visit our social media handles, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's the Mr. and Mrs. Show on all of the platforms, okay? So search for us and tell us why you should be a guest on this show. Perhaps you'll win a toaster like them or something else, right? And a thank you, a big thank you to Curvy Woman Clothing for my outfit today and to HO Beauty Bar. Thank you, Hilda, for the face beat. I love it. Yes. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to give you your toaster before you go. Enjoy it. Make some lovely toast for the kids. We will. Yes. There it is. Mullinex. Beautiful toaster there. Thank, thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you for joining us on the show. Thank you. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Much love to all of you. Thank you.